I'm here today talking with you because Stephen K. Bannon is the most powerful political voice right now in America, and they want to shut him up. That's what this is all about. While Steve Bannon entered a not guilty plea in New York State Court on Thursday, he had his fellow Trumper hold down the war room. And let me tell you, everything about the situation is messy. Welcome into TYT's Overruled. I'm legal analyst Adrian Lawrence. Former White House strategist and occasional felon Steve Bannon had his perp walk on Thursday. I think it's his third. The 68-year-old surrendered to New York prosecutors to face charges in connection with the We Build the Wall campaign. Now, these charges include two felony counts of money laundering, two felony counts of conspiracy, and one felony count of a scheme to defraud. On the most serious charge, Bannon is facing a minimum of five years and a maximum of 15. Now about those charges, let's head to the AP. Bannon's New York charges stem from the same alleged conduct as an attempted federal prosecution that ended abruptly before trial when Trump pardoned Bannon on his last day in office. Manhattan prosecutors also charged We Build the Wall, Inc., the nonprofit entity that Bannon and his co-defendants used to solicit donations. The company pleaded not guilty Thursday. Now Bannon is facing charges at the state level for allegedly stealing more than $15 million in donations for his sham effort to build a border wall. And given that these are state charges against Bannon, they go beyond the scope of the former president's federal pardon for the same alleged conduct. As you'd imagine, the War Room host had plenty to say as he made his way into the courtroom about 9 a.m. in the morning. For every conservative America, this is what happens in the last days of a dying regime. They will never shut me up, not to kill me first. I have not yet begun to fight. Yeah, sure, Steve. Let's be real here. Bannon should feel extremely blessed. He was allowed to turn himself into authorities this time. The last time he faced consequences for the We Build the Wall scheme back in 2020, well, the feds yanked the man off of a luxury yacht on the coast of Connecticut. Anyway, while Bannon was entering his not guilty plea at his arraignment today, uh, his fellow soon to be felon, as far as I'm concerned, Dr. Peter Navarro was holding down the war room. Here's a clip of the good doctor waxing poetic about his hero, Steve Bannon in a blue stronghold using lawfare to try to silence the man, Stephen K. Bannon, who has, through the force of his intellect, taken this show to the number one podcast and show in politics in the world. And the Democrats fear him, and rightly so. How do you think this is really going to shake out for Steve-O? You let me know in the comments below. Hit that like and follow button, and thanks for watching.